So the map Solve for Springs has three main pillars in the middle in which you can place your towers on. It's this small one right here at the top, this big one in the middle which also houses water based towers and then this small one again at the bottom. But there's actually a fourth pillar which is this small one right here on the left side and this is in the worst placement out of all of them because whatever you place here is going to have its vision severely limited. So what I wanted to try today is to see if we can beat Sulphur Springs on Chimps mode by only having our towers onto this small pillar on the side. So let's see if this is possible. Okay, so now before starting this, I'm going to enable Nudge mode. And so what this allows you to do is to basically kind of fine tune wherever you're placing your towers. And this is because I'm chasing pixels at this point. So I do have some very specific placements uh, for our towers and I do know how I want to start this thing. It's going to be a wizard and a dark monkey. So the wizard is going to go like this and then the dark monkey is going to be right above the wizard. And if we do everything correctly, then we're going to be able to house four towers onto this pillar. And I, I know that sounds like a lot, but trust me, if you do it correctly, you will be able to have all four of them. So I think this is fine. Uh, let me just enable this thing and let's see if these guys are going to be able to beat the first few rounds. I think they are actually. I think that we can deal with like one green balloon, but more than one and it starts becoming a little bit tricky. So is that thing going? Oh, that was a great snipe from the dart there we go so as long as we survive this round this is going to be the most important one and if we survive round 12 then we're going to have money for sign up the next one and i think that we're golden so i'm just going to have this dark monkey strong to snipe the green blooms we are going to have some yellows in this round by the way so let's keep the dart on strong as well and this is probably the hardest portion of the game i'm going to keep it i think it's just i i should probably leave them just on strong right on the first sorry that's going to be fine yeah there we go and there goes the money for sign so let me first off disable actually enable nudge mode and uh, let me try and just place sign in just just behind this wizard but i do want to be very very careful with the pixels because if we do everything correctly and i'm actually going to test it as soon as we play sai yeah so i think that this is the placement for sai i think that this is going to be fine and let me just have them on strong and see how we're doing on this shot i might have been a little bit late with the placement but that seems to be completely fine and let's see if we have placed them correctly so if i did everything correctly with these three towers then there's going to be this small space uh, just between the dog monkey and side just above them and uh, let's see if we can fit one small... Yes, I saw it. Yes, look at this thing. It's just a small spot and it's just enough for a small footprint tower. But yes, this is exactly what we need. Okay, this game is on. And the last tower that I want to buy for this thing is actually a tower that cannot deal with lead blooms immediately. Uh, it's going to need some upgrades and we don't have the money for those upgrades. So that means that we're going to have to deal with the lead blooms in two ways. Well, actually, let's deal with... Uh, can we deal with these guys? So the first way that we can deal with lead blooms is just by having scythe level 6. But because we place them uh, uh, later, um, they don't have the levels. And the second way is to just upgrade the wizard to the fireball or the wall fire in this case so uh, i'm actually gonna do that there's a blue balloon which i see and i switched size targeting so let's move side back to strong and this is unfortunately how we're gonna have to deal with these lead balloons but eventually this one is gonna become a top pad i should probably just get the arcane mastery now and eventually this is gonna become the archmage it's gonna be a 5 to 0 archmage which doesn't which doesn't have camel detection but it has the shimmer ability so it's gonna do camel balloons for itself okay let me actually try something so whenever you combine the wall of fire this is by the way not a combination that i usually go for the 5 to 0 but whenever you go for the top pad and you combine it with the wall of fire you get this new ability which allows you to target your wall of fire wherever you want to so here's my question if i have the wall of fire set towards the rightmost um, side of its range is it going to be i don't think so right is it going to be able to damage the balloons that are they're kind of making their, their way around the first pillar and the answer is the answer is no okay that would have been a little bit too much but it was worth a shot i guess if you guys are not using the sharpshooter you probably should because this is just such a great tower it attacks super fast it gets it has gotten so many buffs like extra attack speed extra range a little bit of extra damage over the crossbow in general so yeah this is a great tower and i think that the extra damage that we get from the sharpshooter is going to be more enough to pop the moab because that's the only thing that we need we need to pop the moab layer and then as soon as we deal with the moab player sai is going to be able to hold three of the four ceramics so we need to deal with one ceramic balloon as well so as soon as this round ends uh, we're gonna have to do some wall of fire micro which uh, let's just let's just wait for this round to end and let me do it like this so i do want to stun the moab as soon as it is in range of sai so we're gonna wait like this and then i will so let's use the stun ability now and let's move the wall of fire towards the bottom because it's gonna pulse twice and I didn't move it, but actually kind of moved a little bit late, but I think this is going to be more than enough. Yes, there we go. That was great. So a lot more ceramics incoming. We do have 11,000. And so I'm thinking whether or not I want to buy the uh, the fourth tower or do we just keep upgrading the towers that we currently have. And honestly, I think I'm just going to go for the arcane spike first, just because it's going to give us a little bit of, of extra damage for this mid game. And then after the arcane spike, I'm going to go for the crossbow master because the last tower is a tower that's not exactly going to be helpful. Not that helpful in the, in the mid game, but it's going to be super helpful in the late game i think so i'm gonna save it for later and honestly i'm super hyped that i'm even attempting this uh, 
I'm not sure if we are gonna get the W on this one, uh, just because, you know, the, the setup that I have currently planned is a setup that if it loses, it's likely going to lose in the ultra late game. We're gonna need some side levels to get this thing going. But honestly, I'm just super happy because I haven't done one of these self-imposed challenges in a while. So I think it's, you know, however this thing ends, it's gonna be super fun trying it out anyway. So we're dealing with round 49, no problem. And then these mobs are not gonna be an issue as well. And we are well on our way to the crossbow master, which is a tower that I don't buy at all in chimps mode. Okay, now this round might be a little bit of an issue. And the problem is that we can only pop a camel balloons with with the dart or with Sai and oh look at that thing so Sai is on strong and the wizard cannot attack and the problem with the uh, with the with the sharpshooter I was gonna say the crossbow but the problem with the sharpshooter is that it leaves them to pinks and these pinks are super fast and yes oh wait is this our first problematic round I mean the tower the fourth tower which is actually a tower that uh, I had a little bit of, of thought of what I wanted. We cleared out, by the way, which is amazing. But I had a, a little bit of a thought about what the last tower should be. I cycled between a lot of towers and I just kind of thought about what would be not just something that's going to work, but what would also be very fun to try out. So maybe a tower that we haven't tried out. And, you know, I was thinking about something like a Bloon Master Alchemist over here. But the problem is that we're not going to have any bad damage for around 100, right? Because the only uh, all attackers are going to be this one, the Crossbow Master and the Archmage. Because Sai doesn't do anything to uh, bats, right? Then I thought maybe we could do something like like this one, the Creeper Moab, which would amplify the damage that these guys do, but then it's not exactly another DPS tower, and I'm not feeling comfortable having only these to do the majority of the damage. And then eventually I landed on this thing, which, do I want to buy it now? I think I probably, I, I'm not going to buy it now, but I'm just going to tell you guys what the tower is. It is the Master Bomber, which we have, I don't think that you guys have seen this tower in Chimps mode in a very, very long time, and I haven't used it in Chimps mode in a very long time, and usually what the Master Bomber needs is a bunch of Shinobis actually around it, so they make it stronger, so we're not going to have a bunch of Shinobis, but we are going to have the Master Bomber, and that's going to give us a lot of extra DPS versus more of class balloons, it's going to deal with the bat, and it's also going to stun balloons for a brief second, so it should be really interesting when the late game comes. So right now, the main concern that I have is going to be round 63 as usual, because the Crossbow Master attacks really fast, and it should be able to deal with it by itself it's just that i'm concerned about uh, you know the the limited vision that this thing has and uh, i i do think that with the help of sai we're also going to have like you know the the level oh it looks like we're going to have the level 10 ability plus the level 3 so we should be fine overall but let's just watch what's going to happen i think that as long as we get some good crits okay so look at this thing so they're they are actually making it all the way around and yes so we are popping and that's very good but yeah they are making two full circles because keep in mind the crossbow master starts attacking with these guys are at the first pillar he can see them and oh no oh wait a minute they are kind of actually escaping a little bit this is gonna be fine this is gonna be the third wave and i really hope that we deal with this one i mean we do have the level 10 side ability but i don't want to use it and yes that was fine that was perfect and yeah, the rounds have been going on, and this crossbow master has been soloing as expected from a tower like this. I mean, that's exactly what what this tower does best, right? You just buy it, and you can you can actually just sleep through the mid game, and it's gonna do its thing, and you don't have to worry about anything. And we are just there uh, with the archmage money. So uh, let me just buy this thing. It's gonna be around 74, and we finally get some extra damage. It's gonna make the wall fire stronger, but this thing has two attacks. It has the magic attack, uh, and it also has the dragon's breath attack. And if I'm not mistaken, the dragon's breath attack is not affected by the by this one the guided magic cover which basically allows it to shoot beyond obstacles and what this means is that the dragon's breath attack is still probably going to get limited uh, by the vision that we saw by the vision blockers that we saw uh, in the early game so by this smaller spot but i think it should be fine in general so uh, round 76 we are going to deal with these guys we have way too much damage for free play and then we should start getting ready for our last tower, which is going to be the Master Bomber. So if replay is starting, here's what I was thinking about the Wizard Swallow Fire. So you guys should remember how I tried having it here towards the sides in hopes that it's going to be able to do a little bit of damage when the balloons are going around the first pillar. Well, it wasn't able to do damage back then, but it might be able to do a little bit of damage now because uh, now we're mostly going to have Moab class balloons and the deal with these guys is that they have a bigger footprint. So now while they're making the circle, they might be able to get a little bit of damage onto... Yeah, I think it actually does do a little bit of damage versus those BFBs, right? So it's round 88 and I think it's time for us to buy the Master Bomber. And let me just find the spot because it was just like this this one single pixel in which this tower fits and that's about it. I should probably... Oh, it's actually disabled. I was going to disable much mode. And I found it. I was searching for this specific pixel for so long, but I eventually found it. And this is going to be the last tower. So we're able to fit four towers. And do we have the money for the Master Bomber? No, we're not there. We're just about there. So let me buy the Master Bomber. And you know what? We have the money. So I'm just going to buy this thing anyways. 
and let's start seeing those charges go to work. So this is going to be an important part of our uh, bad damage round 100, but it also whenever it, it hits a mob class balloon, it also stuns them briefly, and it also stuns the small balloons, which is going to give time for both of our towers, the Archmage and the Crossbow Master, to do a little bit more damage. This thing is also very good versus DDTs, by the way, which uh, the charge, I think the charge does a little bit of AoE damage, and it does 3,000 damage per charge, if I'm not mistaken. So uh, that was round 91. We're dealing fine so far. Let me not jinx it. Uh, the most important level that we're looking for is size level 16 in which uh, they can start targeting bfbs and then 17 which is going to be three targets at once if i'm not mistaken let me just check yes there we go so they can target three different balloons at once and that means they can hold three bfbs and that's going to be super super important for rounds like 98 so sai is going to get level 16 on the next round which is really really important and i'm really hoping to to have at least level 17 before round 98 and if not we can spend some money because there's nothing else to buy we spent everything so just sai levels but let's see how we do on 94. So 94 is a round which doesn't have any 45 balloons, which is really important for us, by the way. And uh, do we use the stun? I think that we might... Actually, let's wait for these balloons to make it all the way back. And I think that now we need to use the stun. And you can barely see it because they're on the low ground. Oh, oh my god, that was amazing. Uh, thankfully, they're on first. Okay, thankfully, they are on first. And uh, let me just use the ability because it wasn't going to hold. Oh, wait a minute. Do we have an issue? Oh, we barely saved that. Did you guys see that towards the bottom? Okay, I did not like one bit while I saw 94. And we do get the level 16, so that means that we cannot target BFBs. And level 17 is something that is definitely going to happen before 98. Because even if it doesn't, we can just buy it because we're going to have the money. But I'm really concerned about what is happening onto these next three rounds. So I'm going to have them on strong just so they can target the mobs. And uh, let me use the stun ability, actually. So this round is... The round is about halfway there. And then if we need to switch to first, we should. But I really would rather not use the level 10 ability, even though we have it. So, oh, let's go to first. No, are we going to hold them? No, we don't. Well, that might be a little bit of an issue. So we're going to retry this round. I'm going to have Science Strong again. And uh, I'm going to switch them to first. And I'm going to use the stun ability again. And basically what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to avoid using the level 10 ability. Because I do think that we're going to need it for 96. And it's barely looking like they're holding on. So that's all the DDTs. And it's just the small balloons. So please hold the small balloons. That's all I ask. It's going to be, yes, very good. Yes, so switching them to first strong and then first seem to be the, the good choice. All right, so a lot of 45 balloons on this round. We can actually just wipe all of these BFBs by using the level 10 ability. And I should probably do that, <laughs> honestly. Uh, we do have the stun ability, which I'm actually going to use right now. It's going to be three pulses. And no, I don't want to... I don't want to use the level 10 ability for that. Okay, so here's the plan for this round. I just used the level 10 ability, and uh, I think that the sooner we use it, the sooner we're going to get it back. And I think that, I, I guess that's the way to go, right? I mean, I don't see any other way. If we get the cooldown back for 98, because that's the most important thing, so we have all cooldowns ready for 98, I think that that's just, that just probably the way that we should go about this. Uh, let's, move the, uh, let's move the Master Bomber to first, because I do think that the targeting matters, right? So if you have them on first, they're going to throw the, the charges onto the first balloons. And this is, yeah, this is a lot better. So we just used the level 10 ability, <laughs> like half the round was gone and uh, yeah so it's only a handful of rounds left over we are gonna have level 17 and we are gonna have to buy it actually so as soon as this round ends we're gonna get the experience uh, from beating this round and then I'm gonna buy level 17 and then we're gonna see what we can do for, with level 18 actually which I don't even know what it does so we're gonna read it up in a second so uh, this is round 98 and I'm gonna buy this thing for 5.8 and we don't have the money for... Well, actually, you know what? We are going to have the money during the round. So we might be able to get away with just buying this thing. So this is round 98. And I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm just going to wipe half the round by using the level 10 ability. And I'm just going to hope for the best. So I'm going to use the level 10 ability now. We are going to get some cash by popping these guys. And I'm going to buy the level 18 with that cash. So, and do we stun? I really, you know what I want to do? I want to keep the stun now. Is that too much to ask? I think it is. I want to keep the stun for the 45 DTs and 99. So, I'm just hoping for the best. We seem to have popped the ZOMGs. I'm going to speed things up just for a second. And is this holding? No, this is... This is barely not holding. Okay, so the idea that I have for this round is that I'm going to switch the Master Bomber to Strong. And I hope that the Master Bomber just deals with all these ZMGs. And when all these guys pop, I'm going to use the level 10 ability. Uh, because the level 10 ability can hold BFBs as well. So that's the plan for this one. And then hopefully, you know, whatever leaks, we can just hopefully kind of hold it with the level 3 ability. So I, I don't think that we're popping this round just by normally attacking it. And I don't think that's going to happen. So let me just buy the level 18 now. Uh, size on first, I'm going to keep them on first. And everything pops. I'm just going to use the level 10 ability now. And this is just about, you know, just a little bit of RNG for sure, but I see some mobs incoming. So uh, I think I'm just going to, let me use the stun ability right now. 
and I'm gonna need these guys to bomb. I really hope I'm holding everything in place. Please just don't overwhelm the defenses. That's not even the entire round, by the way, but I think we actually have this thing. Oh my god, we actually have it. That's ridiculous. Finally, that this is like my 10th attempt or something like that, but we finally get it, and this is what I was talking about, that we're just not gonna have the abilities for, for these DDTs on 99. So, at this point, we can just hope for the best guys, and if they pop them, they pop them, and if not, the run is gonna end here. And uh, it's looking like the run might end here. I don't think there's anything we can do about this one. Or is there? No, this is too close. Yeah, I mean, I'm just gonna give it, like, probably this is gonna be my last attempt, and... I don't know, I mean, unless there's some miracle happening, like maybe some lucky crits and stuff like that, we don't have the abilities, and we should have had the level 3 ability for this, but, um, yeah, this might be the end of the road, guys. We really needed to save the level 3 ability for 98, but at the same time, it was really scary at that point, because I, I didn't know if we were going to be able to hold all of them. Yeah, so at the end of the day, it looks like that we needed to save the level 3 ability so that we can stun these DDTs at this point when they're coming out, and then that would have been more than enough for, uh, <laughs> for this round. But it looks like the run is actually going to end. Well, it's not actually going to end, because we can still beat this thing, probably. We have 7.8k, so let's actually figure it out. Let's see how we can beat this thing let's say we we can place some towers uh, above are we gonna you know are we gonna be able to do it just by doing something as simple as this like a jungle drums village is that gonna be more than enough because it's like a i think it's like a 17 percent attack speed so is that gonna make all the difference versus these 45 dds i don't know it might it's probably not going to though is it i don't know these guys seem to be kind of popping i'm gonna be honest Oh my god, it actually did. That is insane. That is unbelievable. Just a 2 0 zero village is all we need. It just goes to show how little, how, just a small amount that we were off in getting this thing. Oh my god. It makes me so sad seeing it go like this, but at the same time, there was, this was a really fun run. I mean, we haven't done one of these in a while. Let me just use the level 10 ability just to end it off, but that was a really fun run. And, uh, you know, we might have been able to save the level 3 ability on 98. Glad, you know, we didn't save it, but I'm, I'm just just glad that we got this thing done so there we go we we barely lost we just had to place a 200 village at the top just take the pump 730,000 on the crossbow master about 600k onto the arch range and then 326 onto the master bomber and then size should have about 400,000 yeah there we go so about equally distributed and that was the entire run i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks for watching it and i'll see you on the next one